Good morning, beautiful people. It is a terrific, super, fabulous, fun Friday, the day after my birthday. But I celebrate every day. You know it like it's my birthday because it truly is a celebration to see each new day. Hey, today I just wanted to share really a lot of things with you. I wanted to share, first of all, let me share my scripture with you. The scripture for today is Psalm 27 verse 14. And it simply says, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait. That's the key word in that scripture. Wait. Wait on the Lord. A lot of us, you know, we have trouble being patient, trouble waiting for things to happen, trouble waiting on God to, to send the blessing that he has for us in the timing that he has for us and not our time. But we have got to realize that we have got to wait until God says it is so. So with all that being said, I just wanted to tell you, you know, this grief thing. Grief, I've, I've, I'm learning the older I get that grief, you don't get over grief. You don't get over losing special people, you know, like uh, your sister, or your grandmother, uh, a mother or a father. You don't get over those things, but you learn to live with it you learn to cope with it so i'm learning to live with it but not let the grief overtake me so of course yesterday you know i had expressed to you all a few weeks ago how this day was going to be happy but it was going to be a little sad because i was thinking about not receiving the text messages that i normally receive from my little sister that passed away a few months ago always on my birthday she would send <laughs> It seemed like 50 million gift text messages. Uh, and when she first started doing it, you know, I was like, why are you sending me so many text messages? But then I started looking forward to it each year. So now um, that she's not here, you know, I was looking forward to it, but I knew I wasn't going to receive them. But still, God always has somebody that will remind you that you still have the good memories. So, you know, my aunt, she started <laughs> doing it, you know, just sending text messages after text messages all in a row. Then my BFF sister, sister from another mother, she did, she did it all day and night. Uh, and I had to say, you know what this is reminding me of, right? And she said, yeah, you know, I listened. <laughs> I was paying attention. Uh, and, you know, it's my my day just started from that morning at home with my my husband and my daughter uh blessing me and my mom blessing me and then it just spilled over when i had a little sad moment at school my uh children and my uh my uh work partner uh her and the class they just blessed me with uh with cards made made cards that they had did you know personalized cards that they had made you know, and they sang to me and that just melted my heart. And I was reading all of the cards last night, you know, and you know, uh, all of them had like, I love you, Miss D, you know, thank you for helping me with math. Thank you for this. I love you, Miss D. And it just, each one just made me tear up more and more and more as I read them. Uh, and I've only been here, this is my first year at this school. Uh, but it seems like, you know, I'm making, I'm touching hearts, not only, you know, on the grade level that I'm on, but in the third through fifth grade level. And a lot of them, I don't even realize that they know me, but they go by saying, hey, Miss D, hey, Miss D. Uh, so I must be doing something right. Uh, but um, I said that to say, again, just wait. Even when you think it's not going to be, God turns it around. Even when you're going through and you think that day is not going to be as good as you think it's going to be, God still has a ram in the bush. God still works it out. <laughs> a lot of times he's already worked it out and we're still stressing, trying to figure out how to work it out. But if we would just stop, stand still and wait on God, wait on God. When you don't know what to do, when you don't know what to do, just ask God to help you to wait to wait on him. Like the scripture says, wait on the Lord. Wait. So ask God for more patience to wait on him. 
because I guarantee you, <laughs> waiting on him is always going to be a good thing. Never a bad thing. It's always going to be in your favor. So stop stressing. Go into work today. Go into school today. Wherever you have to go today. Go in with no stress because you are definitely blessed by the best. He is not going to let you fall. And if you do happen to fall, guess what? He is right there to pick you up. And then you can start all over again. So don't you quit today. Don't you give up. Know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Know that you have got whatever it is going on. You've got it because God's got you covered. Know this. And remember today. Your key word today on this fabulous fun Friday is just wait. All right, beautiful people. Keep smiling. Be blessed. Be a blessing. Be the best you. Do something to grow yourself each day. Every day is not going to be perfect, but it can be positive on purpose. Find the positive in your every day. Be intentional about finding the positive in your every day. Hey, keep going. You've got this.